Hello there, and welcome to the Generational Gamer. Well, originally was gonna wait for number three because I haven't beaten this one yet. I wanted to have time to beat number two. So I want to talk briefly about Helena Turner because while she has every right to complain about not getting the money she deemed herself worthy, it doesn't mean that the company or Platinum is obligated to give it to her. And they picked somebody else to voice Bayonetta 3. So, obviously, they didn't really want her. Now, I'm kind of curious to know what the replacement, I think her name was Jennifer Hale, what she got, but, you know, the game's coming out in two weeks, and she has the audacity to start complaining about it now. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of sympathy. Actually, I have none. I have zero sympathy. Zero sympathy for, for, for her behavior. And, of course, every single YouTuber on the planet has decided to come out and talk about it. Just like this guy. The only thing is, they're all saying the same thing. How could Platinum do such a thing? No, I mean, I'll, I'll grant you the uh, Bayonetta has a good voice, but I'm sure other people do as well. But, I mean, come on now. Seriously? Everybody's going to get a bent out of shape on somebody's behalf that they've never met. I mean, if it was my wife and she was a voice actress, which she wouldn't be because she's uh, really reserved, and and uh, she wasn't getting paid, yeah, I'd come to her defense. But this is somebody I, I didn't even know who she was until last night. Anyway, that is my opinion. I think it was a poison pill or whatever it's currently called in order to uh, get her to go away. And she is complaining right before the launch of the game. Uh, I haven't actually gotten through this game yet. It's the reason I was going to hold off on number three. But after the controversy, I figured screw that shit. I'm buying it right away. I mean, she's got a good voice, don't get me wrong, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bend over backwards, grab the ankles, and tell her whatever you want. Okay, if my kids were supposed to get paid a certain amount, I would have a fit about it. In short, let me just say this. While I have no ill will towards Helena Taylor, I really don't care if she voices Bayonetta at all, because I will go past the screen after I've watched it once. I think there's more to the story than what is being led on, and something just does not seem right. I think that they gave her a paltry $4,000 offer in order to get her to go somewhere else. And the fact that she didn't take it, I think that was actually by design. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a good one. Bye-bye.